edge plating is often found on printed circuit boards with high frequency signals. The edge deposited copper bridges ground planes on the top and bottom layers on two layer boards. Edge plating can also be connected to internal ground planes in multi layer boards. This provides high shielding effectiveness and helps block radiated emissions from the edge of the printed circuit board. Edge plating also increases the board's noise immunity from external sources, helping to ensure EMC compliance. Before including edge plating in your design, make sure to check with your manufacturer and make sure they can successfully metalize the board edges. When designing boards with edge plating, care must be taken to ensure any copper polygons that will connect to the edge plating will extend to the very edge of the board or cutout. Some manufacturers will require your polygons to overlap the edges of the PCB or any cutouts. This must be done on all layers you want to merge. If the board has internal power planes, then use a design rule to enforce sufficient clearances from the board edges and cutout edges. When using the clearance and board outline clearance rules, there may be a gap between the edge of the polygon and the edge of the board or cutout. To solve this problem, let's create a separate board outline clearance rule for the ground net and specify zero offset from the edge of the board. For a PCB cutout, you should specify a negative offset value. Also, the offset value between a polygon and a cutout is subject to the clearance rule, so we should create a new rule between the ground net polygons and cutouts in the board. Since the board cutout is a region, we place a negative value between the polygon and the region in the extended table. Now, we can see the required overlap when we re-pour the polygons. Also, it is not currently possible to completely metalize the ends of a board along the entire length. Instead, 1-2 mm jumpers should be placed so that the board can be held in the workpiece during copper deposition. Consider an example of how such a workpiece might look. Jumpers can be placed in locations where the layers should not be connected by edge metalization or in any other place that is not critical for shielding. After plating, the jumpers are cut, leaving behind non-plated areas. You can allow your manufacturer to specify the locations of any jumpers, or you can create a separate mechanical layer and indicate where these jumpers should be placed. A board production file for this mechanical layer will need to be sent to the manufacturer along with the rest of your fabrication files. Also note that the edge plating will be covered with the same finish you select for exposed copper. 